Hello, my name is Alex from Model AI, and we've had one of our users request a demonstration how to solder power leads to our mini ESC. So you see here in the middle, this is our mini ESC, and uh, it's been used before. So, but I cleaned out the power pads, and uh, just for for the demo. Before we get started, um, so in terms of which uh, what gauge wire to use, I'm going to use 16 gauge which is probably the maximum size, the largest size you should be using with this ESC, just, just because it, otherwise a larger wire may not fit on the pad. Uh, I would recommend 16 or 18 gauge would be easier to solder and would be more flexible and reduce chance of the pad ripping off. Um, so in terms of equipment, I'm gonna be using Weller soldering station and I'll show you actually two ways using a single soldering iron like, like this one, or a, a dual one, a tweezer one, and I'll, I'll tell you about advantages of the latter. And the temperature, I'm gonna be using 700 degrees Fahrenheit as a temperature. So the idea is you wanna go a little bit higher temperature and very quick to prevent, um, to apply heat where it's needed quickly and prevent overheating of other components. Uh, so first, uh, so let's get started. I'm, I'm just going to strip the wire, uh, maybe a bit less than a quarter inch, uh, just enough for the pad to fit on the pad, just like so. And uh, we're going to thin the wire, and make sure there are no strands hang, uh, sticking out because it will make it harder to solder. So I'm going to use the single soldering iron first. And I'm using a leaded solder, the Kester, um, uh, what is it, 67? 6337, which is pretty standard. Um, so here, and normally I would actually have the fan, exhaust fan running, but uh, I'll keep it off for the demo because you will not hear anything otherwise. So we wanna make tin the wire on all sides, make sure it's nice and smooth, just like so. Don't worry about this little um, solder he hanging off. And uh, yeah, so that's that, and then apply solder to the pad so this is the positive terminal and it's you know you should go pretty quickly so less than this how maybe half a second is, is enough um and done with the pad so the next step is to apply to to connect to solder the wire to the pad so all i like to do is so heat up the pad first a little bit heat up the wire and now heat up both and hold it in place for until it solidifies and you're done so this is not, maybe not the nicest uh, job uh, just because it's harder to do it in front of the camera in, uh, behind me, but I'm, I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer. So this is what it's supposed to look like, nice and shiny. Um, and maybe I had the lead a little bit too long. So probably if I were to do it uh, again, I would probably shorten it. Uh, so now, what, now we have soldered the lead now what you don't want to do is bend because uh, bend this wire uh, and let me explain so when you solder the, the solder actually goes up inside the wire so because pretty stiff up and maybe like half an inch of the wire is going to be pretty stiff so if you try to solder you're essentially going to create a lever arm and try to uh, i'm sorry if you try to bend the wire it's going to create a lever arm that will pull the part the pad off you see it's like uh, it's not curving very well at this location uh, so don't don't to don't bend the wire like this if you do need to bend it you should hold basically use your fingers to hold the wire in place and then you can make the angle but obviously don't do it many times because if, it, if you do it many times it could actually break because it's stiff in this uh, in this uh, location sorry when I went out of the camera but then you anyway, just to review yeah hold the wire to the board like this and then you can bend it once a few you know a few times to when you install it into the frame okay so yeah so that's that's it uh so that was you know pretty quick prep and very you know minimize the time that you spend heating uh, uh so now i'm going to actually do show you how to do it using the tweezer um soldering iron even though you know this wasn't too too difficult um uh, I usually I, I, use, I do use the, the double one, the, the tweezer soldering iron, especially when using larger, soldering larger wires to you know to larger pads. 
So here again, so this is the tweezer soldering iron. I'm gonna set it to 700 degrees. It's heating up right now. I'm gonna apply solder to the pad, you know, just a fraction of a second, half a second is enough. Um, and we're gonna strip the wire. I'm gonna have a black one. I'm gonna go a little bit shorter so we don't have, yeah. So maybe a little bit more here. Okay, so this is this is probably enough. Um, we're gonna apply solder to to the wire like so. And this is nice here. I'm gonna try focus on the wire. You could see that well. I'm gonna actually I can do it on from multiple both sides, so two sides at a time. So that's why, especially for th even thicker wire, it's a lot easier to apl to apply solder to the wire this way you're heating it from two opposite sides and this is done um okay now we're gonna release the wire and here i'm gonna try to solder so that you could see it well yeah the same principle so let me just check make sure it's yeah the view is good yeah so he heating up the pad really quick heating up the wire i'm actually gonna flip my soldering iron just so that you could see better and then you position the wire over the pad and release hold it for a few seconds and we're we're done so yeah and I'll, I'll bring this a little bit closer so you can see focus on the um yeah so what you're looking for is a nice kind of shiny contact point all around the wire and um and you, you see how it's a little bit shorter so there's no need for this excess right here to be you know sticking out right here so that's why i made that wire a little bit shorter here and now again finally you know very important you know if you do need to bend these so do it like this so hold and then you bend okay like this so you could bend it pretty much anyway because you're you're keeping the the stiff part stationary the pad is not going to rip off and um yeah so that's uh hopefully that's been helpful and um, if there are any other questions about this procedure, let me know.